AI. I really hear more and more about it being used in so many interesting ways. Um, Konica Minolta just introduced uh, a company that does uh, AI training for for dealers, basically, it's what it's all about. And getting uh, getting new salespeople trained on AI. Do you have any kind of feel for where that is going to play within Great America? Yeah, a lot. So uh, we have made significant investments um, into a data analytics team at Great mm -hmm. America. That team is spanning, you know, the entire business frame from internal insights to Great America. And we've started to actually use it to provide insights into um, dealer customer habits, um, whether it's payment processing. Right now, the number one thing, Frank, if you talk to people on the finance side, um, we're seeing more late payments than ever right now, alarming rates. Um, and as you know about us, we bill a significant amount of our customers' money due to our billing capabilities. And that means they're also not getting paid timely. So we've been using data analytics a little bit on how we can be smarter with our collector's time. The, the, the areas I'm sensing, Frank, that we haven't explored yet that I think will be really interesting for everybody. I only know this part because I'm in the process of hiring a chief human resource officer. When I talk to them, um, all of them talk about data analytics in relation to human capital. Uh, whether it's behaviors of the individuals on your team, knowing if someone might be on their way out. And there's there's a lot of data we have on people that is not being used. And so I don't know yet how we can bring it together and also what we can do to help our customers. But um, there's I think there's some great opportunities there that gives us insights inside our own organizations that is not being used. It could be as simple as, you know, Great America, we have those RFID cards to get from floor to floor. There's there's a whole bunch of data you're sitting on that might actually give us some interesting habits of people that may indicate us, you know, again, who, who our high performers are or what based on where their location is. I don't know. There's lots of thoughts there. Well, you know, that, that, that to me is, it's really, uh, it's an opportunity to really grasp on the greatest and the latest technology. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm excited about it because I think it'll open up a lot of doors. And we'll make, in the end, uh, the people that sell in this business a lot more proficient. It's a great way, Frank, you know, use the, I call it the chat bots, but, you know, the chat GPTs or the Bing, use those. You know, it's so easy now. I, everyone says, right, it's easier to edit than it is to create. I struggle with finding exact words I want to use. And so I'll go into those tools um, and it might be, hey, I want to send a, company all announcement. I want my energy to feel like this. These are some of the key words. And I want it to be about, you know, achieving goals. Help me. And it, you know, types it all out. And then, okay, great. Now I can start editing and bringing my voice or, hey, make this stronger. I, I think a lot of people can use that a little bit to really save them time on creation if you get writer's block, especially. And I get it all the time. Well, that's great. Listen, we certainly appreciate you taking the time, Martin, to be with us today. Uh, and uh, we'll look forward to broadcasting this Friday's with Frank and give you a heads up as to when it'll be out. I oh, can't wait to see it, Frank. You bet.